What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Darinoy. You already know the vibe. So today we got the man with the plan, the former CEO of Dogecoin. Yes, Dogecoin to the moon. This is not a sponsored video. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So today we'll be talking about the space. X company which is owned by none other than Elon Musk. Now the SpaceX company is a company dedicated to space exploration. Here's a little clue. Two, one, zero. Ignition. But today we will not be focusing on rockets or the moon or nothing like that but only thing we'll be focusing on is the trip. Now take a look at these well-designed suits designed by the team over at SpaceX. So today we'll be designing our own sneaker inspired by the SpaceX suits. So let's get into the video. So the first thing we're gonna do, we wanna go and research and find some good references that we can use. Usually what I like to do, go on Google, Pinterest, and just grabbing anything that I can use. Anything that I find, I usually just snatch them up and put them in pure ref. Nothing is safe. So after getting my reference, let's move on to the sketching. Now my sketching process is very, very simple. I wanna have general silhouettes, keep them nice, loose. It's kinda like the things where you go to a therapist and ask you, what do you see? Yeah, this right here. And also these, you know, they're very abstract, very, you know, up to your own interpretation. So that's how we wanna start to design these sneakers. Now here's a real time of me actually going through the process and designing these silhouettes for these sneakers. Now the reason why we want to stay with the silhouette design is because you always want to let your mind have an interpretation of the design. Never box your mind in. So that's why I love the silhouette route because you can always let your mind go wild. You know, always find new possibilities with the design of the sneaker. But not only you let your mind go wild, you also got to make sure that your shoe is structurally sound because keep in mind you want to design these like they are going to be made in a real production in real life which will make your life easier when you design these in 3D. Another thing to the proportion of the shoe, one thing you don't want to design is clown shoes where the front part of the shoe is way bigger or baby shoes where the front of the shoe is smaller. So after doing the silhouettes, it's time for the process of elimination, which I go through each silhouette design and just remove the ones I'm not feeling or I feel is not there yet. So after going through that process, so after choosing five designs, we start to detail them. Yeah, this is random, but while I was designing these shoes, it actually reminded me of Iron Man. So, yeah, we're not going to use this one. Let's continue, though. If you look to the right side of the screen, you can actually see I'm actually putting these reference to good use. Just keeping my mind open, not directly copying the reference, but drawing inspiration from it. Now, after going over the detail sketching, now it's time to pick a winner. Which actually I chose this one because I thought it was very simple, not doing too much, and I think it actually went well with the suits. Now after refining the sketches, we want to do the back view, the side view, and the front view so we can bring it into 3D.
Now moving on to the 3D and the first thing you want to do once you open Blender is delete that cube and open the plane. Done deleted that cube. Now you want to load up your graphics and make sure that they're centered. After you got your graphics in, now you want to grab a cube and keep it nice and simple. So with designing these, I like to start from the bottom up and build my way up. So as you see, I first modeled the sole of the shoe. Now I'm working on the midsole and also the upper of the shoe. So what I usually do is I make up a full mesh of the shoe and then start to cut it out piece by piece. Now, if you look right here, this is usually how I like to work. I like to cut out every piece by piece and then merge them in the end. So here I'm just fixing up the proportion because if you look at the graphics, it looks like a baby shoe. From the width to the height, it was not proportioned. So I saw that when I was drawing it, but I just thought, eh, I'll fix it in 3D. So moving on to the texturing of the shoe. This is why I love Blender. Texturing is made easy. So if you look to the left side, it's this things called nodes. And what I'm using is a noise texture to get that bumpy texture of the sneaker sole. All right, so for right here, what I was aiming for was a mesh material. If you look to the left side, here are some reference that I was using to create this material. Now just tweaking the material very, very slightly. Also, you wanna add some imperfections to the material to get that realistic. Ah, bonito render. Now, working on the back tab of the SpaceX was very, very tricky. But you know, we got it done. here just working on a couple of renders now that we got the shoe complete now we're working on some animation a couple keyframes and here's the final shoe So that concludes the SpaceX sneaker creation video. If you guys like this video, go ahead, leave in the comment section below how you felt about this video. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Till next time, have a blessed year.